guys, it has been a hot freaking minute since I've done a vlog. I looked at myself yesterday in the mirror and I was like, what the heck? is going on quarantine 15 is in like full swing and i'm just really not okay with it not even like looks wise but i don't feel good like i have just i've been so out of my element and out of my game with like healthy eating and feeling good and working out since the gym's closed it's almost like as soon as the gym closed i gave up on everything i was like oh i can just eat whatever i want and not work out and expect not to gain weight like what so this is my official comeback of 2021 to lose this freaking quarantine 15 weight. I'm sick of it. It doesn't feel good on my body. It doesn't look good. Things are tight. So let's get rid of it. Number one is to get enough protein. So with that being said, let's make a freaking shake. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and it really supports me. Thanks. If you've been following my journey for a while, then you would know that I have been off freaking birth control and I'm so excited. So I've been off for like five or six months now. I am pumped about that. I'm so proud of myself. And with getting off that and balancing my hormones, I've also been able to get off my antidepressants fully. And like honestly going into 2021 without any pills whatsoever controlling my hormones, pumps me the freak up. So I'm really proud of myself for that. But with that being said, I wanna make sure that my gut is like, you know, snatched. So your gut is actually in charge of like 95% of the serotonin in your body. So it's pretty crazy. Your gut definitely, definitely correlates with how your brain is feeling. So oftentimes people will take antidepressants but still have bad gut health and they're wondering why their antidepressants aren't working. So you gotta figure out what's going on in your gut. So with that being said, I am going to take some apple cider vinegar pills to eliminate the bad bacteria in there since I have been eating so crappy lately. So I have a uh, pill form and then I have liquid. This kind of burns your throat, but I personally don't mind it that much. A lot of people hate it, but I also have the pills and that's a lot easier to get down. So I'm gonna take one or two, probably two. And actually, no, that's a lie. I'm gonna take one because I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I just had the shake. So we're gonna do that. But honestly, gut health, that is another one of the rules that I'm going to make. Focus on it. Take your vitamins. Take your apple cider vinegar pills. Make sure your gut is healthy or else you're going to feel like crap anyways. And that's not fun. My friends picked me up and we got a tea and it's so little. I just feel like I'm already like so pumped up today that I didn't need a lot of caffeine. But you know, a little goes a long way. So now I'm going to prep some breakfast because I'm freaking hungry. Another thing that I've been doing ahead of time is cutting veggies and leaving them in the fridge. They're so easy then to just like grab and like have a nice crunchy snack while you're like watching TV and things like that. Uh, my favorite is red bell peppers and cucumbers. <sighs> Beyond good. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna start doing because I wanna make sure that I'm not like eating chips and like crap like that in front of the TV. So I often cut cucumbers in this shape so that it's like the perfect little crunch, you know? You hear that ASMR, ready? That was a bad one. Hold on. <laughs> I can't tell if it's working. Oh my god, these are so good. Mmm. Bane! Come here, buddy! I have no idea where he is, but he's probably in that house because they have a little new puppy and he's obsessed with it. Look how gorgeous it is outside and it's like so mild. It's like negative two. Just my car, of course, because, you know, working from home life. Let's try this door. 
pain. I forgot to put that chair in and I also forgot to put this pumpkin in so you know that's all good there's so many icicles ah oh fun oh oh it just broke off never mind bad plan well he'll come back when he's ready I guess I wanted to share with you guys this vest that I got and it's so nice like I'm obsessed it's heated it has three settings and like a little pack that goes in here and it's so small but, and light, and I'm just obsessed with it. So I wanted to share, this is the brand. I don't really know how to say it, but it's amazing. But the reason I came in the bathroom was to show you the supplements because that is also part of my plan for this month is to make sure that I'm taking the proper supplements to balance out my hormones. And that includes this Active B Complex and my Vitex to manage basically my hormones to make sure and then this will help with energy levels and just to make sure that I'm feeling happy and delightful because you know all being off uh, antidepressants sometimes can be a little frisky uh, but so far so good I've really been maintaining it well and I'm really happy and I like weaned off it is it weaned or leaned anyways uh, I cut them in half and then now I'm fully off them for a while now so I'm so freaking happy Guys, I just realized I didn't show you a very exciting thing in my house. I can't believe I forgot. I haven't vlogged in so freaking long. We got a new couch and I'm obsessed with it. It's so big. Like literally obsessed with it. This part comes down and then this part is storage if you want it. Oh my gosh, I love it. It feels so nice. We just have a few blankets on. These are the pillows that came with it and I thought they were going to bug me but I'm kind of too lazy to buy covers so for now that's the plan to just keep those and we just have random blankets and then we keep our bike out i think i showed this in my last vlog but my mom got it for me it's so sturdy and it actually like collapses and it can go in the closet but i'm obsessed with it so that's like our newest purchases and then our favorite thing ever that we got is this bissell's vacuum oh my gosh i don't know how i lived without it for so long bane sometimes turns it on himself right buddy yes you do but it's the freaking best. You want to use it? Let's press it. He hates when it touches him. Good boy. Another tip that I'm gonna do is intentional exercise. So at least 20 minutes, I have to go out of my way to make sure I exercise every day. And I know that doesn't really sound like much because I used to go to the gym all the time, but my plan is, do you know what, that, that's something. You know, I can up it later to like 45 minutes or an hour, but right now, I'm just so out of the game, I gotta start small. And honestly, that could be another tip. Like, don't try to do this 45 minute workout high intensity after you haven't worked out for like four months, because that's just not gonna go well. You'll feel discouraged. So that's my plan, to be gentle and uh, do small workouts. So 20 minutes, obviously, I'm gonna probably feel energetic and I could do more some days, but other days, I'm just gonna be happy I did the 20 minutes, so. That's the plan. I'm actually going to focus also this month on what I feed my mind. So when I say that, I actually talked about this in my last podcast. If you have not listened already, I actually started a podcast called Shit Nobody Talks About and it was how unfollowing Instagram accounts has changed my life. And it's a really good episode. I've got a lot of feedback and I'm really excited that all of you guys have loved it so much. So if you haven't done that, check it out. It's available on like Spotify, Google Play, Google Podcasts, or I should say Apple Podcasts. It's uh, available pretty much everywhere. So give it a listen. I love my cover photo. It has a little banana on it. I love bananas. So anywho, uh, on that note, I just wanted to share some resources that I'm going to also read and use during this month to kind of keep a good habit. So some of my favorite books are Girl, Wash Your Face. Love this when I'm like in the mood to just make excuses like, oh, I don't have enough time and things like that. I go to that specific chapter that she talks about and it just whips me into shape. Uh, another one is, I don't want to say this, but you know, on F yourself. It's also a good read. I've always like reread books like I don't buy new books usually I just keep rereading the ones that I love it's like movies I don't watch new movies I just reread not reread rewatch ones that I've already seen and this one this one's probably like my least favorite but still a good one so it's not too shabby I'll like I'm trying to focus it but it just wants to focus on my face I can't see if that focused but hopefully it did if not it's called you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life um, another thing that I want to share which I've talked about in other videos, is a meditation journal. 
get this. It's inexpensive. It's on Amazon. It is awesome. I love it. I will show you. It has little inspiration, reflections, blessings, struggles, and goals. I'm going to try to catch this on camera. I don't know if it'll work, but if I'm excited about something, Bane will start to howl. doesn't matter. I could just make something up. Hold on. Let's see. Bane! Woo! Hi, buddy! Woohoo! <laughs> Good boy, do it again. Oh. Do it again. Oh. Oh. Good boy. He did it. I'm so excited. He only does it in front of me. Never like anyone else, especially Kyle. So I'm happy I caught it on tape. Good boy. <laughs> I thought I should show you my current state of what I look like. In March, I was 132 pounds, and now, as of like yesterday, I was 155 pounds, 154 around there. Uh, so I just don't feel good. 155 pounds is gonna look different on everybody. Uh, that might be great on some people, but just on me, I just do not feel good. Things are just too tight. And just generally, I'm gaining a lot of cellulite on my stomach. That's the first place I gain weight. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I look like and what I wanna work on. This is so hard to post, like, I am being so vulnerable right now, so please don't be mean, because that would make me sad. <laughs> so I've kind of, like, lost my definition here. I used to have, like, ab lines and stuff like that, but now it's just, like, not good. And then down here, I'm just gaining a lot of, like, cellulite. I think, like, you can tell with the sunlight. Just not a cute look. I don't love it. And then even just on the side, like, I'm just so bloated. And, like, I'm getting a lot of back fat. I can always, like, feel it when I, like, bend and stuff. Overall, I'm super body confident and I believe in that and I will always be body confident, but I also believe in the fact that you need to feel good about yourself and like your body needs to function how it should. Like I need good gut health, I need good mental health, and I don't have that right now. So that is what my focus is on. I'm less about the actual scale and the numbers because I don't think you should focus on that, but this is my journey and I want to show you guys where I'm at. So anyways, if you really, really liked you know, this kind of thing and you want to follow along on my journey because I'm going to show you. This isn't going to be like a before and after video. This is going to be taking you with me during this awful journey. Awful, but like, you know, satisfying, you know, one of those. Um, but I'm really excited and I know I can do it and I know you guys can do it, the people that are watching this. So if you want to join me, I would love that. Uh, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. It really supports my channel and I love you guys so much. Thank you. And don't forget to check out my podcast because like, I would appreciate it. Anyways, bye guys.